Welcome. Welcome to St. Peter's. Welcome to uh, the College Chapel. And welcome to the 1982 Uncovered exhibition. My name is uh, Dr. Tim Clack. I am a lecturer at the University of Oxford and co-director of the Falkland War Mapping Project. This is the 1982 Uncovered exhibition, which is an exhibition born of the Falklands War Mapping Project and um, artworks of Doug Farthing and various other members of people linked to the project, um, lots of oils and photographs and uh, lithographs, you know, a whole range of, of arts, We're calling it a kind of creative explosion. Um, it's been really powerful, it's been really emotive, and it's been a great way to, to learn about what we were doing. Hello, I'm Doug Farthing, the project artist for the Falklands 1982 project. Um, I was fortunate enough to be asked by Tim to go along. Uh, it was a fantastic experience and I've only just walked into the chapel here in St Peter's College um, in Oxford University and been blown away by the exhibition. It's absolutely fantastic. You know, the experience to be on the project, especially as the artist, uh, looking in and then taking away information and then placing it into an exhibition like this has been a wonderful experience. The project delivers the first intensive archaeological survey of the battlefields of the Falklands conflict. And the project is innovative in three ways. So firstly, it's an archaeological pro uh, kind of project that focuses on the recent past. So events that happened in living memory. Secondly, the project includes veterans as central members of the archaeological team. And thirdly, the project is the first that takes veterans back to the battlefields on which they themselves fought. I'm Professor Tony Pollard from the University of Glasgow and I'm the co-director of the Falklands War Mapping Project and I think the highlight for me was really returning to Tumbledown Battlefield with two veterans from 1982 it was really special. I've been back there before on several occasions but this was really, really special. My name is Jim Peters. I was with the second Battalion Scots Guards in the Falklands in 1982, Falklands Conflict. My name is John Litterick. I was a guardsman when we went to the Falklands. Uh, the Batten project was hard for me because it was my first back time back in 40 years. Uh, you can remember your own part, and, uh, but you didn't know what the other guys were doing. So these, the, Tony Pollard and the other guys that were there were explaining how how the, the battle de uh, developed and who was doing what. That's me. We've got up so far to be the Land Rover and I seen the whole of the mountain I had to tell it to stop because I thought that was as far as I was going to go. I didn't think it was going any further. I thought that was me. My name's Rod Eldridge. I was a, a colonel in the army as a nurse consultant in the RAMC and QARNC. Well, the whole thing was amazing. The, uh, it's a unique opportunity for me with my background as a therapist to take two people with chronic uh, PTSD and having the difficulties they've had back to the place where they had the difficulties. So uh, it's quite unique and uh, I feel very humble and humbled and privileged to have that opportunity. It's always kind of emotional. I suffer uh, quite badly with PTSD. Uh, I've been receiving counselling for, uh, I think, almost 11 years now. Uh, so it's always emotional, but uh, it was the people, the guys that were me were very good support, and it actually worked out quite good for me because they were. Um, it made me feel like I was a human being again. You know? It was the actual camaraderie, the team, how we all got together, and, and um, the bonds we made. I think we've made a friendship that lasts for life. It was really, really special. Uh, some of the drawings are quite poignant and made me think a lot about um, the Falklands. Uh, I, I, was, I was trained by soldiers who were in the Falkland Islands, um, served with two para. I enlisted two years after the Falklands, so those, those soldiers trained me to be a soldier. So I, I really felt connected with, with the Falkland Islands, especially when we walked around the battlefields. I could kind of understand what the soldiers had been through. Dogs up. I've never seen anything that brings the Falklands to life like that. For me, it brings it all back. Every bit of it, it, I can see something in it. 
I'm Dr. Stu Eve. Uh, I was involved in the Falklands mapping project down in the Falkland Islands. I was doing a lot of the 3D work, photogrammetry, flying drones, all of that type of thing. And it was absolutely amazing to be down there. What was really interesting when we were down there was I was doing a lot of high-tech stuff. So I'm using computers, I'm making 3D models, all of that type of stuff. Whereas Doug is just sitting there with his old artist palette, he gets a canvas out and he starts painting. And that kind of, um, the sort of contradictions there and the differences is really, really uh, great when they come together. We've got this very high-tech stuff and this very low-tech stuff, and then they come together in this exhibition, which is just brilliant. The highlight of the project for me was basically realising, after having spent decades working in archaeology and anthropology, realising just how powerful archaeology was as a tool for healing as a cathartic, restorative process and taking veterans out to the battlefields on which they fought and, and, and seeing the way that they were able to kind of overcome some of those traumatic experiences from their past and build new associations, build new memories, build new experiences and understandings was revelatory. It was wonderful and you know, more of the same. Definitely want to do more of this. It's, it's brilliant.